understand this pretty soon you really gonna get right yeah gonna get left let's get it yeah hey this is what papa duck y'all already know my nigga shape on the beat y'all already motherfucker know what it is hey flex stop bullshit what's happening listen i've been telling y'all this for the longest now i know y'all just seen that bill that donald trump just passed where they basically putting skills over degrees meaning you can have a degree in that field but if someone has the same amount of skills whether they got the degree or not they can and will get the job now listen i want y'all to pay close attention when y'all be seeing me talking about signing people up to tlc signing people up with the neutral burst and the t listen y'all got to understand man i'm creating situations where people can be financially stable more than what they are more than what they are I got people making more money a week than they ever did on the job that they've been on for nine years. And what this does, this gives you financial freedom. But what this also does is prepare you for AI. And it prepares you for SAI. Because I told y'all it's coming. Don't you know they got robots that flip hamburgers? Another fast food technology that you may have heard of is Flippy, the burger flipping robot. Flippy's totally gonna steal your job, right? People see, see a robot, they hear the word robot, they assume job replacement, but this is not about replacing job. Flippy flips the burger when it's time to cook the other side, and then takes the burger and bun off the grill and places them on a tray. Oh, before I forget lawyers, <laughs> don't think because you're a lawyer, your job ain't in jeopardy. Watch this. This is presidential candidate Andrew Yang. You may have heard him speak about how technology and automation is going to wipe out American jobs. My friends in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on. The lawyers? And y'all wonder why? They doing this. Like, why are they replacing real people with robots? This is how greedy these people are. But if you're not prepared for it, you think they're gonna care about your sorry ass excuse. They don't. And if you ain't woke up yet, you probably ain't gonna never wake up. I'm tired of trying to hold people hand and y'all don't act like you don't see what I see. Listen to what I'm telling you. Prepare for this AI and prepare for this SAI, because it's coming. And don't think because you driving cars, you, you're an Uber driver, or you deliver trucks and all that, your job in jeopardy too. Let me put it this way, if your job consists of driving any type of machinery, automobile or vehicle, you're gonna be out of a job soon. Taxi drivers, bus drivers, truck drivers, Uber drivers and delivery drivers are all on the verge of complete automation. In the US alone, there are 15.5 million trucks and 2 million tractor trailers on the road, with the trucking industry employing 14 million people, out of which 10 million are drivers. These are the people who are going to be pushed out first, because a self-driving truck doesn't need to stop for rest, is attentive to the road 24-7, and we already have the technology. Believe it or not, this is already backed by the government in Germany, and they're betting hard on self-driving trucks. If you've watched our Tesla video, you know that the next generation of Tesla cars will be 100% autonomous. Elon Musk himself agrees that it will take us one to two years to get the tech right, and then three more to get the government to approve it. All major car manufacturers are headed towards electric and self-driving cars, and those who won't will be left behind. Oh, I forgot, an accountant. You work for the bank? Your job is in jeopardy too. Bank tellers. I'm sad to say this, as the lady at our bank has always been so nice to me, but we're not going to the bank for social interaction. To be honest, we don't go to the bank anymore, or very rarely when a visit is really needed. Otherwise, we check out our balance on our smartphones. Even the people on our payroll get their money delivered to their accounts automatically, without the need for us to manually and physically fill in a form with their details. If you want to grab cash, you go to an ATM. You can open a bank account to most banks in the world online, and only if you're looking for specialized services, you might need to meet in person. And even then, you might get the job done with a video call. And y'all might say, well, damn, if they replacing all the people with robots, then who gonna work? Get it in your head, this is what they wanna do. No matter how much money the government got, they still need workers. Why you, oh my God. They still need people to build up America for them. It don't matter how much money they got. 
The system is designed for a reason the way it is. So, but guess what? Once they replace you with robots, then guess what? They don't need you. Do you know where the world is headed at, man? Do y'all see what is going on? Do you understand what's going on? If you ain't prepared for this, for your family, I don't know what to tell you, man. Why you think I'm doing what I'm doing? See, I got a bigger plan in mind. Once they replace regular people with robots to build up America for them, they don't need us. Can you imagine how the world finna be? It's definitely finna be the rich against the, the poor. We are those poor people. When you look, in, you look in them history books and you see them people marching with them sandals on, getting whipped across their back, toting big bricks up the, up, the, up, the, um, up the mountains and all this, and we are those people. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Think about it. That's all you gotta do. Think about what I'm telling you. You have to understand, man, that we are in a society where us as people, and, and it don't matter what color. See, a lot of white people think, and I ain't gonna say a lot, but some think because they white, they're gonna be saved. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. You're not, you're gonna be sacrificed just like everybody else. You're not dealing with Hitler, you're dealing with the devil. You're dealing with the devil. And I, I commend those white folks who, who, who understand that. Cause that's really, if you, if you pay attention and get your head out your ass and understand what's going on, you see what's going on, you can see this for yourself. Your own people will, sacri will sacrifice you. And the only reason why a lot of white folks are getting the benefits they're getting, they're just getting the accolades of being white because those who are running the world are white or perceived to be white. So yeah, there's um, white privilege, of course, of course. But guess what? When AI hit, AI does, does them give a damn what color you are. And I'm trying to get y'all to be self-sufficient, self-sufficient. Stop working for other people. Get in a situation where you could benefit for yourself and your family. Because when AI hit and they call you and say, oh, we don't need your help, you know, your services anymore. Why? You got artificial intelligence. It's a difference between AI and SAI. Look it up. And oh. A lot of y'all right now can attest for this, what I'm finna say. How many of y'all mothers or aunties or or or, 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 or or grandmamas since the COVID crap done hit visited the doctor over the internet? Visited the doctor over the internet. See, they prepping you for this. They prepping you for these, for these robot doctors to operate for, a, a doctor can operate from his house and, and, and do this. And, and, and do a whole surgery on you through artificial intelligence. Listen to what I'm telling y'all, folks. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. Prepare yourself, prepare your family. Get in the position where you work for yourself because you're dealing with a world of people who, who are so greedy that they actually replacing humans with robots just to save money. But it's bigger than saving money. It's pushing us out as all these movies you done seen that done prep you up. Yeah, all the movies you saw were the poor, were outside, scavenging, killing each other, and the rich lived inside. Finna be just like that. Finna be just like that. And like I'm telling y'all right now, don't sit around and let this hit you in your behind. Cause I done told y'all, a lot of other people done told y'all, but a lot of y'all wanna sit and like y'all don't see what people see. That's crazy. Prepare yourself. Get in a position where you make your money, you control yourself, your own, your own finances. So when something like the COVID crap hit again, because it's another one coming, you won't be knocked off your feet. You won't be, you'll be more prepared for it. A lot of people don't lost their jobs, homes, and everything else because they weren't prepared. Before I get off this post, I want to ask you one thing. If you die the day or tomorrow, hopefully that don't happen. But if you did, what is it that you got right now that you can leave your children? What is it that you got right now that you can leave your kids? That's all I'm saying. Prepare well, yourself, man, cause boy, it's finna get worse before it get better. Yeah, hey, this is what Papa Doug, y'all already know, my nigga. Shape on the beat, y'all already motherfucker know what it is. Hey, flex, not bullshit.